So today I'll show you how to mod Elden Ring with the easiest way possible if you're a beginner to modding PC games altogether. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to get an account on Nexus Mods. Obviously making an account is free, you don't have to pay anything, you just have to make it to be able to download mods. And you know that you're not downloading viruses or harmful things to your computer because every single file that is uploaded to Nexus Mods is scanned for viruses. And I used this site to mod every single RPG I've ever played. And I also make mods on this site as well. And so if you're worried um, about your computer's safety, just know that it's in good hands. But to mod Elden Ring specifically, you need a mod engine too. What you want to do is go on Google and search mod engine to download. Now you want to go on the GitHub website. You click here and you get a little preview of what mod engine 2 is. Uh, you click on assets, you'll get the drop down menu and you want to click on mod engine 2 preview win64.zip to download it. Now you'll need a winzip software, a 7zip or winzip something to open the zip file. All of them are free so don't worry about it. Now once you've downloaded it, uh, you want to open it and you want to extract it somewhere on your desktop or in your files, somewhere that's easy to find for you. So I'm going just to extract it on my desktop. And there it is. Now you can close the zip file. Open that up and this is what you see. Now the only two things you really need to worry about in this entire thing, I know it might look confusing, but the only thing you need is this mod folder, which is where you're going to put the mods in, and the launch mod Elden Ring, which is what you're going to use to launch the game for the mods to work. Now this launch mod actually launches the game offline and without the um, easy anti-cheat, which will prevent you from uh, getting banned. Now the cool thing about Mod Engine 2 is that if you launch the game normally like through your desktop here the mods won't be there so like you can just keep the mods in your mod folder and if you want to play online do some pvp or co-op with a friend then you don't need to like delete everything you know you just open the game normally as you would and if you want to play with mods then you just open it through mod engine 2. so it's really convenient it's super easy it's like the best way to mod elden ring now once this is done you just want to go and download the mods that you want. So I'm going to go and download something random. And for Nexus mods, uh, the first time you make your account, you can actually search games and then put the games uh, in here. So it's easy to go in that category when looking for mods, when you're going back on that website. So you can add Elden Ring and then you can just click on Elden Ring and you'll see all the most popular uh, Elden Ring mods. So once you're in here, you can search whatever you want. But let's say we want this Witcher 3 armor in the game. Usually the mod author will tell you exactly what to do. So they're telling you to install with Mod Engine 2 and then which folder to put it in. Now this says mods slash parts. And that's because in the mod folder, you need to make a parts folder. But that's only for like if you're changing weapons or armor or any uh, item like that in the game. But if you're changing, uh, like for example, movesets, then you need to make a CHR folder. But usually you'll know because when you download the mod, uh, the extension of the file will let you know which folder you need to make in that mod folder for it to work. So you want to go into files and then don't use the mod manager download because that's just annoying and you don't need it. Click on manual download and then click on slow download. And once the download has finished, you want to open it. Um, all mod files will always be zipped, so you do need a WinRAR or 7-zip uh, program. So this is the mod folder right here that we downloaded. The mod author already made the parts folder. So what you want to do is just take the parts folder and slide it at the mod folder. So these names here are all the files in the game that this armor set will replace. You know, like LG, leg, head, body, the F and the M means female or male, but that's not really important. What's important is what's written here, parts, B and D. So because it's written parts, you need to make a part folder in the mod folder for it to work. If you don't make this parts folder, the mod will not work no matter what you do. So once we've put this in, we want to go back in the mod engine 2 folder and we want to launch Elden Ring through here. Now you have to make sure that Steam is open. And also just a quick side note, if you have a cracked version of Elden Ring, this method of modding will not work. It only works on an actual copy of Elden Ring. If you have a cracked version, you have to use the UXM method, which is more annoying and long. But I do have a video explaining that method 
uh, as well. Now that's all good and well we have the mod installed in the game. However, like I mentioned before, every mod file replaces something that's already in the game. It doesn't add anything. So as you can see here uh, in the description of the mod, it says replaces astrologer set. So you need to equip the astrologer set once you open the game with the launch mod Elden Ring to be able to see the mod. Now, sometimes there are a clipping for new outfits that are imported in the game. And there's stuff you can use for that, but I just want to show you how to do it. Steam opens with my computer. I always set it that way, so I know it's open. And then you want to just double click on launch mod Elden Ring. So now that the game is fired up, we're going to load in any game that I have. I actually don't have a female character created right now, so this should be pretty funny. So Astrologer Hood. Oh my gosh, it changes the hair. Astrologer Sit. Oh, okay. It gives the character her entire body. That's cool. That's cool. Astrologer Glass. Got some nice legs there. And astrologer trousers. That's what the mod Arthur was talking about. Like, it's like the other head is clipping inside of it, which is freaking hilarious. Uh, so that's why you need that other mod. But let's say you want to play as Siri from The Witcher. Well, there you go. It's as simple as that. You can also just make like this, uh, this character's head bigger. So maybe it will fill it out and you won't see the other head. But uh, it's gonna look weird so now let's say you want to use something that replaces movesets in the game like this swordmanship mod which i covered previously let's go into the files and download it to see what we have now in this case you can choose what you want do you want a default guard do you want a square off guard stance do you want the square off guard stance with no uh, stamina recovery. So for this mod, you have to choose one of these three. But when you choose one, let's say we do square off guard stance, we'll see a CHR folder. So just like the parts folder, we're going to take the CHR folder and slide it in the mod folder. And that's it. The mod is technically applied. Now for this, there's an optional thing you can uh, put, which is a timed block. So the only thing you need to do when you see a regulation.bin file in a mod file, you need to just drag it in the mod folder. So you don't have to put it in any of the folders. You just have to make sure that it's in the mod folder like this. Basically, a regulation.bin is what changes the values in the game. So if you want to change movesets, then you need to modify this file and that's what modders do when they add new movesets to the game. And every game has a regulation.bin file. So what they do is they take it from the game and then they modify it and they put it in a mod folder so we have their modded version of this file. So those two things or those three things I guess are mostly what and most of the mods are going to use. But if you have more questions about modding, I do have a Discord server and the link is in the description box if you want it. I'm always there to help. Uh, I'm always on Discord pretty much. And I also have a Nexus mod profile here um, if you'd rather use that. So that's it guys. I really hope this helped you understand how to mod Elden Ring and uh, how everything works. This was really for beginners uh, to modding or to modding Elden Ring. So of course, if you have questions, drop them down below. Myself or other people uh, will definitely answer you. Or as I said, uh, there is my Discord available. So have yourself a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you all very soon.